Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your favorite producer from Down Under, Jin, back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how Poland by Lil Yoli was made inside of FL Studio. Let's go. Three producers worked on Poland by Lil Yoli. That were lucrative, Lucian, and last but not least, there was Filthy. Now I sat down and I listened to that track over and over and over again. I was inside Sarah manipulating the parameters until I can say for you guys today, I am certain and confident that I remade them perfectly. You could almost say that they match perfectly. Sorry, Aiden, that is now my bit. But yeah, if you guys want to cop the FLP to this one, I'll be leaving a download link to that one in the description, as well as a link to a free drum kit a serum bank, MIDI files, and a one-shot kit inspired by Poland. Going into Serum though, the first preset that we made has a really creative name. And what I mean by that, I decided to call it Poland. Now with this one, we have two wavetables. We have the Evo Sound Square C3 and a basic shape. Now both of them have a unison on seven and both of them have been detuned just a little bit. With the first one, wavetable position is around 50%. And that is how we're keeping it. With oscillator B, the basic shapes, unison is on seven, D tune has been lowered a little bit, wavetable position not changed, but we change it up a little bit where we add in a mode of bend plus minus. With the filter, we have an MG low 12 filter come in with the cutoff around 9,000 hertz. With the effects with this one, we have an EQ where we're getting rid of all of the lows and we're getting rid of some of the mid highs, keeping the mids and highs where they are. The chord progression with this one though is really simple. BPM of 150 in the key of C minor, but I don't know what producer did it, whether it was lucrative, Lucian, or filthy, but with the first chord here, instead of the root note being C, they decided to make it G. Then they follow the Travis Scott chord progression where you go up by three, then down by eight. There is a little bit of variance yet again, where they decided to go down by seven and then down one to go to the eight. So with the chords with this one, we actually have a C minor right here. If I was to add the middle note, this D sharp, we now have a C minor triad. Get rid of it, it's now a power chord. With this second one, we actually have an A sharp major. If I was to add in the middle note, this D, A sharp major, get rid of it, it's a power chord. Now for these last two chords right here, you would think it's a D sharp and a D, right? Instead, it's actually a G sharp and a G. If I was to go down to the root notes here, there's a G sharp, there's a G. If I was to add the middle note, we now have a G sharp major, and we now have a G minor. We're getting rid of all of that. We now have a G sharp power chord and a G power chord. The top melody with this one is really simple. A sharp to C. Then they decided to play around with one semitone where it goes G, G sharp, G up to the D for this passing note, and then it plays around the one semitone change yet again, where they decided to go G sharp G, G sharp G, and then end it on this F to ground it a little bit. But in context, this is what the chords sound like. Going on to the effects with the chords, there is nothing playing whatsoever. After I listened to the song so much, I was able to confidently determine that the only effects used were the ones inside of Serum. Going on to the next element, though, it is, surprise, surprise, coming in from Serum yet again. And this one is the Poland lead. Now, all this is, is just a basic shape wavetable being set to the square wave, where the unison is on one, wavetable position is roughly about 50%, and we have an MG low 12 filter coming in. Now the cutoff with this one is actually being automated to envelope two, where we have the release on around 260. The sustain is all the way down. Decay has been increased just a little bit. Hold all the way down. And the attack is just below 50 milliseconds, just to get rid of those clicks. In regards to the effects with this one, we keep it really simple because we just have hyper dimension. All we did with this one is we just turned it on. We didn't change any of the parameters. The pattern with this one, there are two separate patterns playing. This is a really simple beat. 
but the way Lucrative, Lucian, and Filthy were able to change up what was playing in regards to changing some of the melodies or the drum patterns is what makes this beat really enjoyable to listen to and doesn't make it get boring. The first pattern that comes in with this lead is this one right here, where it plays at the end of every bar. We have this A sharp going down to D, then going up a semitone to D sharp before it goes back down the semitone. The other pattern that comes in is this one right here, where all that's changed is we've had these two patterns get added in as well. We're, we're playing with the octave with this one. This is A sharp four, that is A sharp five. Then we add this D and this D sharp again, playing again with the semitone changes. But in context, this is what the lead sounds like. Really simple yet again, but you know, just adds a lot of bounce with this one. Going on to the effects, nothing yet again. The internal effects from Serum is all that was used. The only thing that we did is we pan this roughly about 20% to the left. Going on to the next pattern and the last melodic pattern of this beat. This beat is honestly so simple. This track is really basic. And that one comes in from Serum yet again. And it's the Poland ARP. All it is, is the init preset, believe it or not. The init preset with a unison of 5. The noise oscillator is on with an AC hum of 1. And the level is on 34%. And we have a filter come in where the cutoff is around 3,800. In regards to the effects, Piper comes in, where we're just turning it on, we're not actually changing any of the parameters, and an EQ where we're getting rid of a lot of the low, so the 808 has room to breathe. The pattern, really simple. We start on this A sharp, we go up to the C, G, F, D sharp, ending it on the G. Before we have a repeating pattern of A sharp, C, D, that gets copied and pasted over one time, before the whole melody gets copied and pasted over one time. In context, this is what the ARP sounds like. Really simple yet again, going onto the effects with this one, nothing, but this one has been panned 20% to the right just to give it a bit of room from the lead. Everything gets routed to insert five where we've just turned it down a little bit. Going on to the drums, pattern seven, which is the percussion that plays throughout the whole track. And all it consists of is the break the bank hi-hat, which is this one right here, the classic clap, and this baby girl snare. And all together, they sound like so. As you can hear, really simple percussion pattern, but it's really bouncy and it's one of the main driving factors of this track. Going on to the 808s, yet again, really simple. Pattern 4 has a really simple 808 pattern and the 808 being used is the overused 808, also known as the Zaytoven. And all it is, C to G, A sharp, down to D sharp, ending it on the D. This is what the first 808 pattern sounds like. Really simple yet again. The next one that comes in, pattern five, we have something being added, and that is a modified rack kick, which plays every single time that the 808 plays. The 808 pattern with this one is a little bit different, where we play C twice, then we go up to the G, A, we play D sharp twice before going down to the D. This is what this pattern sounds like. Really simple yet again, and the final 808 pattern. C to G, we're playing A sharp twice before going down to the D sharp, ending it on the D yet again. Subtle changes like that can make a track or a beat stand out and just make it sound like it's changing. And that's what this pattern sounds like. Really simple and really beautiful as well. The only other thing being added is this Nextel chirp, which is being routed, and all that this one has is some reverb. 
stock preset and the master wet dry is on 40%. The last thing with this beat is this master volume automation, which gets turned off right at the end where it goes from full volume all the way down to zero. But yeah, hopefully you did learn something from this breakdown from this remake of Poland by Lil Yachty. If you are new here, would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next week for another video.